Hi, I'm Mike Alexander. I live at the end of uh, Canal between 9th and 10th Street here in Key Colony Beach. Uh, I stayed for the storm. Uh, not trying to be so brave, but uh, the storm followed right up the coast where I was going to go. So I made a choice to uh, stay. My house is uh, very secure. Uh, it has Kevlar drop-down curtains, which you'll see here in a minute. And I took a lot of video because I was able to be outdoors during the whole storm. So uh, as you see the videos, uh, they're going to take and edit them and, and uh, present them to you so you could all see what it was like. Uh, one of the most challenging things for me to absorb was the uh, surge of water that came up, uh, which you'll see out here, all my neighboring houses. Water was up, as most of you already know. Uh, to at least a couple inches into the homes, up to three foot, I've heard, uh, in neighboring homes around here. approaching the 100 mile an hour zone. It was 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Alright guys, the best video I can give you this is through our storm streams in our lanai. I'm going to document where we are this time. Unfortunately, the water's still coming up. It's just over my pavers at the swimming pool. Neighbor's house. It's like it's just at their patio door threshold. Give you a peek at the street around the corner here where the wind comes from. Storm screens are doing very well. Obviously the street is full and the water pretty much up to my garage door, my best guesstimate. Did not get that high at our house. Maybe just just into the lower level, meaning at that level I had it filled up, so I don't think we got any water at the lower level. Um, all the boats are surviving.
not be good news, but the water going down is going to ease the situation with all these lower lying houses, even though a lot of them are across the way. I think it just went up a couple inches on the doors. <laughs> 